At TM Lewin, once the customer enters the store, we establish what style and colour of suits they're looking for. Most customers do not know their size, so we establish this through our measuring services. Hello, I'm looking for a navy suit for war. OK, step this way, sir. Thank you. I'm going to start by showing you a two-button navy suit, but first, can I establish your chest size? Absolutely. OK, I'm just going to place the tape measure under your arm and across the front of your chest, OK? And you're going to be a 36-inch jacket, sir. Right. OK, perfect. OK, I'm just going to ask you to try this on very quickly for me. Thank you. Perfect. OK, if I can just ask you to stand square and face the mirror, sir. Perfect. OK, we're looking for three or four key things when fitting the suit. Firstly, we should have half an inch excess in the front of the suit. It allows you to see the curvature of the jacket and the silhouette. If the jacket were pulling across the centre button, it would be an indication of the jacket being too small. And if the space in the front was bigger than half an inch, then you would have a jacket that, that looked more square and unstructured, OK? Wow. So the half an inch enables you to see the curvature here. Okay. Secondly, we're looking at the lapel. It should lie nice and flat. And if it were bowing, it would be an indication that it isn't accommodating the chest properly. Yeah. OK? The shoulder should have a quarter of an inch only, and the shoulder seam should sit in the correct place. Right. Any more than that, then the shoulder starts to collapse when wearing. Okay. With regards to the cuff, you should have the jacket sitting where the hand meets the wrist, yeah. and having the uh, thumb line open at all times, OK? Now, establishing the correct length for you, as we do three jacket lengths, sir, right. we're looking to use the rule of thumb. You extend your arm and the thumb, and the jacket should meet at the tip of the thumb, which is an indication that you're in the co correct length. Now, sometimes the arm length um, challenges this whole fitting, so if you turn around to the side, sitting where the vents are, the jacket should sit where the buttock line stops, and the upper leg starts to drop, OK? I can just have you face the mirror. Excellent. OK, I'm just going to remove the jacket for you, sir. When establishing waist size, we use the 6-inch drop, which is subtracting 6 inches from the chest, giving you the trouser waist size. Once the waist has been established, our trousers are unfinished, so we pin them, measure them, finalising the fitting. Thank you, sir. Thank you. OK, I'd like you to just stand square facing the mirror for me, please. Now we're about to establish your waist size. We're looking for a half an inch excess with the waist, or alternatively, inserting three fingers is a way of depicting the right size, OK? I'm just going to give you a belt, sir. There we are, if you pop Thanks. that on. You're currently in a 30-inch waist trouser. Okay. Now, as the jacket was a 36 chest, suiting works on a six drop, yeah. so if you subtract the six, it gives you the appropriate waist size, OK? okay. Perfect. Now, once you fasten the belt, I need you to ensure that the trouser height is correct as we're about to amend the length for you. Does that feel comfortable? Absolutely. Perfect. OK, just remain square standing, sir. OK, so with regards to the trouser length, it's very important that we have a single break just as the fabric hits the bridge of the shoe. OK, now if you turn round to the side, sir. Now it's also very important that the fabric sits just on the top of the hill. OK, so if you want, like to face the mirror again for me. Perfect. There you are, sir. That's your suit fitting complete. Thank you.